power your money this noon. There are several ways to achieve financial success, but they're not all easy like winning the lottery, uh -huh. selling a company that you started, or even marrying into money. Yeah, for most of us, the key to financial success is mastering the basics of money management. Andy Manningly from Form Credit Union is here. So, how do we make sure that we spend less than we bring home? Yeah, that, you know, that's an important skill. And it, it <laughs> kind of starts with making sure you make smart decisions on some of those big ticket items, which would be like housing and um, your transportation. That can help free up money. And then the other thing is make sure you never fund your monthly expenses with debt. So that that's... I know that sounds simple, but that's a key right there. Housing and getting to work via transportation seem like needs, but how do you make sure that it's a need, not a want? Yeah, that's another important thing. So I need a car to get to work, but I don't need, but I want the Lamborghini. So, you know, it's, it's balancing that and saying, fulfill your need, but don't go to the want, and that really helps there. Um, retirement, we always talk about that. Why is that such an important skill to, to master early? Because the sooner you start, um, the more you're going to be able to accumulate and then the less you have to spend per month to get to that retirement. So if you start in your 20s versus starting in your 40s, there's a big difference in how much you have to save each month. So that's a real important skill to get to where you want. This next one seems really obvious. It's about your debt and how yeah. you really shouldn't have a lot of it. Right, because whenever you finance certain purchases, vacations, different things like that with credit card or other debt, you're just going to pay more for it, which means you have less money to do some of the other things that you want to do. So using debt to finance everything, you're just going to pay more for everything. We've talked about the emergency fund, the rainy day fund. How do we plan for the unexpected? It's not exactly a fun thing to do. No, but that, <laughs> that's not a want. <laughs> no, no, it's not. But that is one of the basic financial skills that you really need to understand is that you have to plan for the unexpected. We all have some type of emergency, and having that emergency fund and building it can keep you out of uh, you know really bit dire financial straits. So you really need to start build it $100 a month, whatever, so that when you need it, it's there. All right, it's often said we shouldn't really overbuy, so what items do we not touch then so we are not overbuying? Well, probably when you look at the car, you want to make sure you don't overbuy on that, so you want to have a budget. You know, we didn't talk about that, but that is an important thing to have as financial skills, a budget. That'll tell you how much you should buy on your car and how much you should buy in a house. You don't want to have more house than you can really afford because then it impacts all the rest of the things that you can do. Okay, so let's assume that we've mastered all of those. What do we end up with? Then? Well, the last skill is putting together your team. A lot of people will rely on family and friends for financial advice and that's probably not the best you need to eventually get an accountant and a financial advisor maybe even an attorney so you can put all of that together so they can really help you grow your money faster than just listening to you know Uncle John or somebody like that and if they want you on their team where do they find you, you can find us at formcu.com all right Andy thank you so much thank you hey if you have